So good morning, everybody. We're really excited. This is our third year at the Wi-Fi Awards. Um, but it's really been driven by the community, so we appreciate everyone who's been nominating and submitting and voting. Uh, this year we had a huge number of nominations and submissions. We are really, really excited about it. Some really fantastic ones, as you guys have seen the finalists that have come out. It was very tough for this group to, to narrow it down. Um, but before we get right into the awards, I wanted to say thank you to our sponsors. If we didn't have our sponsors, it's what helps us drive this program. It is the only thing that helps, well, not the only thing, but it's one of the biggest things that help keep this uh, going for the community. So thank you to our sponsors. Can we get a big round of applause for Excel Tex, Aruba, Cisco, Ekahau, Extreme, MetaGeek, and the expert event. Uh, and without further ado, let's get started. So we'll start with the Company Leadership of the Year Award. The Company Leadership of the Year Award recognizes a company with an eye for innovation and the vision to execute on it demonstrates strong ethical standards and, and exhibits leadership with its employees and customers with its, within its industry. They exhibit forward-thinking philosophy, clear company vision, and excellence through ongoing development of company culture. And the finalists are Aruba, a Hewlett Packard enterprise company, Cisco Systems, Extreme Networks, Juniper Networks, and Wi-Fi training.com. And the company leadership of the year award goes to Cisco Systems. Rodriguez, where did you go? There he is. Steven is gonna accept even though he's Meraki. Cisco Live. He's gonna accept on behalf of Cisco. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Hold it now, Marie. What's that? Go. The audio is. Cisco provides thought leadership through their continued outreach to a broad number of communities, from standards working groups such as IEEE and the Wi-Fi Alliance, to engagement with a broad number of companies for a Wi-Fi networks ecosystem. Their open roaming initiative is a clear example of outreach and leadership in the community. Product of the year. Product of the Year Award recognizes a high quality product or service for overall impact on the community, innovation of technology by an organization or an individual. This product addresses a challenge solution in the market, integrates with other products to improve functionality and provides value to the community. And the finalists are Ekahal Survey 2.0, Extreme Networks AP 4000, Juniper Mist Marvis Conversational Interface, Comscope Ruckus Cloud Path Tenant Portal, and Venta Venvolt V2. And the winner is AP4000 from Extreme Networks. The AP4000 from Extreme Networks is one of the first shipping enterprise grade Wi-Fi 6E access points. It can access over three times the spectrum of existing access points and is built on Broadcom chipsets. It, fe it features all of the same functionality as the existing Extreme lineup from a software support perspective and is built for enterprises to deploy to users. Innovation of the Year. The Innovation of the Year Award recognizes innovation in a product, manufacturing, or a service by an organization or an individual. This award is designed to reflect capstone achievements in the spirit of innovation and experimentation that provide value for this community. And the finalists for 2022 are Aruba 630 Series Wi-Fi 6 EAP. The Cisco Catalyst 9104 Stadium Antenna. Ekahau Insights, NetAlly Lambert Media Qualification App, and the numerous networks, sorry, and oversight from numerous networks. And the award goes to Ekahau Insights. There you go. Thank 
Torille. Torille. ECHO Insights gives you an instant visibility into your global network performance health by combining survey data from multiple users at multiple sites and automatically computing and displaying easy to understand Wi-Fi performance analytics. <laughs> Rookie of the Year Award. Rook of the Year Award recognizes the, the achievements and professionalism of an individual who has been involved in the wireless community for less than two years. The eligible rookies are those who are newcomers to the profession, whose enthusiasm, achievement, and professionalism show strong indications for success in the field as well as promise for leadership in the industry. And the finalists are Dan Jones, Jordan Goodson. Keith Miller, Michael Hilton, and Mohammed Rizavi. And the award goes to Dan Jones. Unfortunately, Dan couldn't be here, uh, but Keith is going to accept the award on his behalf. Poor Dan. <laughs> Dan Jones is the epitome of coming into the industry on fire. He tries to engage as many people as possible on social media and offers assistance or a voice. He actively participates in conversations on various platforms and isn't scared to ask the tough questions. He may not seem like a rookie, but as, fair, as a fairly new to the, as fairly new to the industry, he se seeks to help in any way he can on the things he has learned and gained firsthand experience with. So everyone congratulate Dan on Twitter. And, and for those, uh, we had company awards and these are the individual awards and there's a pack of uh, goodies for the individual award winners as well. So con content contribution of the year. The content contribution of the year award honors the outstanding contributors who author peer reviewed research highlight industry trends and significant impacts to technology and innovation, or their own perspective navigating the wireless community. The 22 finalists, the 2022 finalists are Amy Arnold, Lee Badman, Joel Crane, John Kilpatrick, Tom Hollingsworth. And the award goes to Amy Arnold. You can do this one. All right. Amy is a veteran of the industry providing outstanding content for many years. Her experience makes her perspective very educational and tells the story in a way that makes you want to learn. In addition to her writing, uh, his, excuse me, in addition, her writing is insightful and topical. She is witty and a very entertaining writer. No matter what her role, Amy has made significant contribution to the wireless industry through the content she produces. Thank you. And she got up this morning to be here. <laughs> And P Peter, can I ask you to come up? So the last award is a Lifetime Achievement Award. It isn't one voted on. The others uh, are submitted, and the audience, not just you, but the, the worldwide audience votes on those. This one is a, a Lifetime Achievement Award, and myself and the previous uh, winners uh, kind of look and and try to get a feel for who's done a really, really good job in the industry. So I'll let Peter start. He was last year's winner, so. Thank you, Keith. Um, the Keith R. Parsons Lifetime Achievement Award recognizes an individual for exhibiting exceptional leadership, knowledge, service, and a passion for excellence in the wireless community. Through his, her actions and contributions, the recipient improves the community as a whole. Thank you. And this year's award goes to, yeah, I'm an act surprised, Chuck Lukaszewski. Congratulations, Chuck.
Chuck has been here many times and allowed us to sit at his feet and learn from his wisdom. Uh, but he's not here this year, sadly. But let me give you a little. Is this a wolf? Yeah, and, and Peter can be the picture. And while you take pictures, I'll read. Chuck Lukaszewski is VP and wireless CTO at Aruba. His responsibilities include driving roadmap and vision around the future of wireless products and services. And he leads the HP team in various wireless standards bodies and regulatory forums. He has built Wi-Fi systems in countries around the world for customers in healthcare, retail, air transport, intermodal cargo, manufacturing, K-12, and higher education, and holds a number of hardware and software patents released to wireless networks, and is the author of six books or design guides. Congratulations, Chuck. So thank you guys. If you ever wonder why didn't so-and-so get the award, nominate him next year.